So hi guys, welcome to the Business and Remote Work podcast brought to you by Vishup. I'm your host Crispino and today I'm joined by our virtual assistant here at Vishup, Kushbu Jain. So welcome to the show Kushbu. It's great to have you here with us. Thank you Crispino. Thank you for having me here. No worries, no worries. So how has your day been? Are you excited to come on the podcast? I am excited and a bit nervous too, <laughs> but yes, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fine, yeah. So are you just starting off with your day today? Yes, it's like it's normally at this time when I log in and start my yeah. work. You work in EST timings, right? Yes, yes, right. Thanks. Uh so yeah, just to kick start our podcast, could you start off by telling us a bit about yourself and what you do here at Vishup? Sure, Chris, you know. So I'm Kushbu, I'm from Kanpur, uh, India. I have been working with Vishup for past 5 years now. And before joining Vishup, I have worked as software engineer in the one of the leading MNCs in India. So uh during my journey in Vishup I have been working with diverse clients and acquired various skill sets so by managing multiple roles I have been able to assist my clients and uh, help them grow their businesses and uh, you know effectively manage their time mm-hmm. so that is the kind of value that uh, I I tend to afford my uh, like you know uh, help my clients grow so yes this has been my journey in the, in the precise way <laughs> that's nice that's nice so how how was it how was your life how has your life been different after becoming a virtual assistant so yeah it changed just for very positive way because you know i took a career break after getting married and mm-hmm. uh, i felt a kind of professional void in my life and i was mm-hmm. looking for uh, you know, some good opportunity so that how I long was the break for it was for about one and a half year Oh wow, that's that's a nice break. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so because that and the reason was I came back to my hometown. Yeah. So yeah, I was looking for some opportunities and I had my daughter also. So I mm. was just uh, you know exploring something and that is when I came across the shop. And mm. I was so excited because uh, you know I was excited about the kind of exposure that the shop would give me to the international clients and the opportunity to work with uh, uh, from the, with the clients from acro- across the globe. Mm-hmm. So that changed my life, and I was really happy because uh, you know when I joined uh, Vishab, the work from home and working remotely was not a norm. Mm-hmm. And people used yeah. to ask me that, oh, is it is it true? Is it like is it something that working from home is an option? And I would say yes. I am very fortunate that I got this opportunity. Yeah. So you know the confidence and the freedom that came with this uh, with uh, with work at Vishab, I really enjoyed, and I am I feel very grateful for it. Nice. So, how long have you been at Vishup right now? It, uh, I just completed five years in March. Oh wow, that's amazing! Yes, <laughs> five years. Congratulations. That's a long Thank time. Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. That's amazing. So, like, how, how has it been? Like, you, you're a mother, as well. You said, right? So, like, how has it been being a working mom, working remotely? How has that journey been for you? It has been very fascinating. I can say. <laughs> and because you know i uh, i joined vishup when my daughter was 5 months old mm. and oh wow okay yes so it's been like my my journey with vishup and my daughter they have been going <laughs> simultaneously yeah so at uh, yeah initially it was a bit uh, difficult yeah, but you know when you love your work it becomes all easy and mm. uh, now it, it feels like i feel very uh, Uh, very very nice when i see like the kind of discipline that she also uh, sh- uh, she has in her life with my schedule how she is also managing everything and mm. uh, she also knows that yes it's my mama's work time and she will not in now she it's a me thing mm. so i like that kind of discipline that uh, my work has brought in her life and yeah so yeah it has been very uh, very uh, nice journey so far <laughs> yeah Were there any challenges though during this journey? Like I know it's difficult managing a kid, and imagine having meetings and working from home when managing a kid. So were there any difficulties back then when she was growing up? Yes, they sure were, and uh, especially during the COVID times in uh, 2020, the times were really tough. You mm. know, when we were managing, uh, the, you know, all the personal stuff also, and uh, the professional on the professional front also. My daughter was she was also a year old. so that mm-hmm. yeah those times they were quite challenging for me and i really like when i look back i find that yeah that was quite challenging 
you know mm-hmm. managing everything all the household chores at that time they were also piled up yeah. so yes that was a bit challenging but yeah when can i when you know when you are out of that situation you find yourself you feel a bit stronger <laughs> that yes you yeah, are yeah, yeah. everything so that feels that's good. amazing kudos to you for managing that's well <laughs> thank you so so how has it been with vishap in terms of your professional growth has vishap helped you develop any new skills and how has that been for you so like i said like uh, the learning curve that comes with this uh, you know with this role it is mm-hmm. really very captivating because uh, uh, i and i have been working with the clients for like 4 years now with the same clients so oh. yeah so that is uh, and uh, each client comes with their own challenges and with their own opportunities they require mm-hmm. different skill set and they you know they require your own uh, knowledge of different tools so mm-hmm. so that has been very uh, very knowledgeable and uh, you constantly learn and you constantly grow and mm-hmm. especially the you know the webinars and uh, the training sessions conducted by the training department at Prisha they have been so helpful mm-hmm. and uh, you know they always help us keep uh, keep me updated with the latest industry trends and mm-hmm. you know you're never you, it's not everything is not new all the time you are you are aware of what is going on in the in the industry So hmm. and it's very fortunate that uh, we are working with such a talented pool at Vishal. Everybody, when you have such a, a talented uh, team around you, you yourself feel very, <laughs> very motivated, and uh, it's very nice, uh, very nice to work with Vishal. That's amazing. Any new skills that come to your mind that you picked up which you didn't have before? Uh, yes, uh, <laughs> I have. Like I told you, in the, like I, I worked as software engineer. Yeah. and uh, like today uh, what i am doing is a accounting work for both of my clients and, and i am yeah. like integral part of uh, the accounting team do you have uh, any accounting background i don't have and uh, that, oh, wow. this is something that i picked up uh, working with uh, with vishap when i started working with vishap so yeah so that uh, yeah so i so what I, are the tasks is, like can you name some tasks in accounting that you do yes i manage accounts payable accounts mm-hmm. receivables helping with monthly close for the clients So mm-hmm. uh, yeah, and operations. So this is the kind of work, and I'm managing like uh, you know everything from. Uh, it's not like that. I'm just assisting them with these tasks, but it is like mm. I am. Uh, I'm like managing uh, everything, and I'm the integral part of the team. Wow, so, that's so I'm, interesting. Yes, <laughs> thank you. That's so interesting, especially if you don't have a background, and then you manage to pick up the skill set on the job and by training. That's amazing. Yes. <laughs> Nice, nice. So, how do you manage work-life balance? Do you have any like many a times there are issues where uh, I faced it in the past as well because of the amount of tasks I'm unable to give time for my myself or unable to draw a boundary where I need to stop work. So, have you been in such a situation and how do you manage to strike a good work-life balance? Uh. because you know this uh, remote setup it comes with the uh, its own challenges and it has and its own flexibility so mm-hmm. like you know from the starting i have uh, that kind of discipline that i log in at the uh, at a set time and i log off at a fixed mm-hmm. time so that has really helped me maintain that balance because mm-hmm. you know when you go beyond your work hours uh, that this i i believe that uh, always disturbs the balance so True. that is why uh, that has helped me that uh, Uh, that maintain that discipline in my work life, and that has impacted my personal life as well. So mm-hmm. I am able to strike a good balance, and uh, definitely the uh, you know the freedom that comes with this uh, working from anywhere, and you, you have that uh, flexibility in your schedule. You can prioritize your work according to the client's preference and according to your schedule. So that mm-hmm. has also helped me maintain that uh, balance, work-life balance uh, in my life. That's great. So, Kushbu, you've been now in remote work for the past five years, right? Yes. Uh, and you've had a good journey. But what do you see the future of remote work being? Do you think remote work will still be there five years from now? Uh, I would say, uh, instead of talking about future of remote work, I would say future is the remote work. Mm. So, because nice. you know, uh, it is it is going to be a norm because of all the technological advancements that we are making, it is just mm. making things easier for the remote mm. setup. So, mm-hmm. what? Because I have seen that this thing I, when I started things, they they were not so easy. 
things mm-hmm. were not easy working remotely but you know with the with all those technological skills all the platforms coming up everything mm-hmm. is getting so easy and uh, from the productivity point of view and from the cost point of view also companies they are moving from uh, to remote setup to hybrid setup so mm-hmm. i think it is a very positive move and uh, it is going to definitely be a norm in the coming years hmm interesting uh, also kushbu there are literally something new a new app or a new technology coming out every day chat gpt gemini mm-hmm. then bard and so many new tools so many new technologies so how do you so first of all are you interested in these technologies that's my first question secondly how do you keep yourself updated with all these technologies so like uh, uh in my uh, free time whenever i get time and uh, you know working remotely has especially giving me this uh, free time that i can uh, spend time on my hobbies and reading is one of my favorite hobbies Hmm. so i like to read a lot and that helps me keep me updated with the you know latest trends and uh, hmm. also talking with my teammates like uh, hmm. my, my managers and my teammates and attending the webinars that has also helped me a lot in uh, staying updated with the industry trends i hmm. like to like, when we talk with uh, when i have a conversation with a manager i we, we have that casual thing like yeah what's going hmm. on he tells me something i tell him so that is you know that helps me keep me updated and uh, so that is uh, that is the like you know uh, it is a very positive outcome of working in remotely that you are you are uh, you are still very updated with the latest industry uh, uh, whatever is going on in the industry and in the not just india but also in the uh, global uh, environment true true is there any instance recently where you used ai in your work and you got it done faster definitely i think uh, uh, we have started using ai a lot and especially you know when uh, uh, for most we uh, i use it like i have to send so many emails manage because mm-hmm. i manage the accounts payable i am in constant contact with the vendors for my company so that has helped me a lot uh, like you know writing emails for them and it has just made my life very easier because you know, definitely it just reduces the time that you are uh, writing and uh, so that mm. has helped me and uh, doing the research task also in that uh, ai has helped me a lot in that in, in the research task that i do for my clients your favorite ai tool chat gpt chat gpt right yeah yes. it's changed it's yes. made life so much more easier so much easier right true yeah cool so as a seasoned veteran who's been here for 5 years what would be your advice to all the aspiring virtual assistants out there oh uh, Okay so for like uh, from my journey and what i feel the most uh, uh, what i can advise my uh, like future vas is like being proactive and open to learning is mm-hmm. the key to become you know a successful um, va or virtual assistant or online business manager anything because you know it is like a it is a, not a job that somebody will sit on your head and tell you that you have to do it is like mm-hmm. you are an entrepreneur you are working for yourself so you have to learn you have to grow you have to be proactive so because mm. i have learned this and uh, uh, so many times i have asked my clients that yes i am open to work you can just you can delegate this task to me i am uh, i i would be able to help you in this thing so that mm-hmm. has helped me and that has helped me to learn and grow and help my clients so much so that would be my uh, one piece of advice <laughs> that's it so be proactive everyone <laughs> thank you. Awesome, awesome. So, Kushbu, thank you so much. Uh, it was an amazing session with you today. Really enjoyed it. I hope you had fun as well. Sure, that sure I did. <laughs> you did, yeah. So, before I let you go, so we have a last small segment of this podcast that's called the rapid fire round. Oh, Here okay. I'll be asking you questions, and you have to answer them quickly without thinking. Okay. Okay, I'll try to be my best. <laughs> sure, done. All right. The first question of our rapid fire round. Here we go. What is one achievement that you are most proud of? At Vishap. At Vishap in general in life. Uh, having uh, I'm working for my clients for four years. I think at present and the top of my mind, I can think of this. Like at true, present, true. I feel this as an achievement, and I'm constantly getting feed positive feedbacks from them. and uh, you know ma- uh, expanding my skill set with the client it's not like i've been working on a single skill for those yeah, for these 5 yeah, yeah. years so that really i feel very motivated from this <laughs> when i look no, back oh that's amazing that does that, that does qualify as a very significant achievement 
kudos thank to you on that thank you favorite virtual assistant task to tackle accounting work i i love i'm loving my accounting work that i'm doing oh, you love numbers you love yes, numbers i love okay <laughs> uh favorite and, uh, productivity you know, hack sorry to interrupt yeah, yeah, yeah uh, because you know when i i uh, i am into accounting work and like the kind of feedback that i get from my clients is uh, mm. i have a very good attention to details mm. so you know, that has uh, really helped me and you know when you get such kinds of feedback that motivates you to do better in your uh, job so that is sure yeah. That's amazing. That's nice. Good. I'm not in your shoes because I really suck at accounting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, next question. Favorite productivity hack? I don't know. I think Chat GPT using AI. Chat GPT. That would be maybe something that you have recently done. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. One tool you cannot work without. Um, Slack. Hmm. Correct. Do you prefer a quiet workspace or a workspace with background music or with something on on the TV? No, I I love my quiet workspace. <laughs> okay, you have a designated work area. Yes, I work there That's and good. I love my workspace. Yes. <laughs> uh, best friend at Bishop. Yeah. Uh, Deep. Deep. Okay. Yeah. He yeah. he's a favorite. He's yes. uh, everyone's favorite. <laughs> yes. Gossip buddy at Bishop. Gossip buddy is. Uh, I think deep again. <laughs> deep again. <laughs> Because you know, I yeah, that uh, I had so many friends, but they are just yeah. leaving, and I am. Uh, <laughs> you, 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 you're there holding the fort. Yes. Awesome, awesome. Ah, uh, that's it. That was the rapid fire round. You did very well. Thank you so Thank much for you. that, Pushpu. Thank you. Yes. It was nice talking to you, Pristino. Lovely, lovely. So, thanks once again for joining us, Kishpu. Enjoy the rest of your day, and all sure. the best. Thank you. You too. Have a good day.